All right, let's talk about the weather. A very active night here in Connecticut. I feel like we had everything. Mm -hmm. Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank, how much did we have? Well, it depends. Some areas just had a sprinkle. Other areas maybe got a quick third of an inch of rain. Christina getting this shot of some lightning in Rocky Neck Beach. Really beautiful shot there, although, of course, it's a little freaky when you're at the beach and you start to see lightning. It's time to head in, indoors. Taking a look at the current dew points, the dew point is an absolute measure of how much moisture there is in the air. When you have dew points up around 60, we put the color coding on here to make it easier to visualize. It feels humid. When they're in the 50s and 40s, it feels comfy, if not refreshing. And this is what is heading in for tonight into tomorrow. I don't know about you, I've kind of liked this little taste of humidity, but other folks are just not ready for it. And you get a few days breather before it comes back all over again for the end of the work week. Here's what's left of today's showers and storms. Just a couple of sprinkles right now, but that's about it. Temperatures tonight dropping back into the 50s with partly cloudy skies. Again, other than a leftover shower or sprinkle in spots. And tomorrow it's breezy. Surprise, surprise. High temperatures climbing into the low to mid 70s. Less humid conditions and winds out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So the front has come through. The storms are over. The next chance for us to get a shower in here is going to be Thursday morning. This is associated with the warmer push of air. Initially, I think Thursday will be cooler because of the clouds, because of that chance for showers. But then we're going to get this warm front to lift north, and that's when the heat and humidity return for the end of the work week. So taking a look at the temperature trend over the course of the next few days, cooler and less humid for the next several. The humidity starts to build back in on Friday and it is back along with the heat. Hot, hazy, humid, the triple H's, the summer trifecta for Saturday. So find your friends with a pool now. Heading into Sunday, another cold front will come through and that will bring us back to spring once again. So the spring roller coaster ride continues, which is so typical for us this time of year, but a break from the storms for now. Taking a look at the seven day forecast again, mid 70s, the next couple of days, a little bit cooler with a chance for some showers on Thursday as that warm front arrives. Then you're feeling it by Friday and especially on Saturday. We're sweating chance for a thunderstorm though on Sunday as another cold front comes through similar to today and then we cool back down again as we head into early next week. Here's a look at your shoreline Fox 61 seven day forecast. So low to mid 70s the next couple of days, the coolest day being Thursday and then we're back up into the mid 70s on Friday. Reserve your spots at the beaches now 80 at the beach. I think you could call that a beach day, guys.